All right, we are live. Hey, everybody, it's Adam with Productivity Academy. Today, I want to give you a quick once over of this really cool program uh, called Airtable. So, if you haven't heard of this, I'm going to fill you in real quick on how you can put it to work pretty quickly. Uh, a couple of the ways that I use it and I really like it, and we'll kind of go from there. Uh, so, if you haven't yet, uh, you can sign up at productivity.academy slash more. Uh, get some more information there. I'll let you check it out afterwards. Um, also, just be sure to stay up to date. You can either uh, like the Facebook page, uh, subscribe on YouTube. Those are great ways to automatically get notified of new videos. All right, let's dive into it. So, I'm going to shrink down my screen here. Um, so my face isn't taking up so much space and then okay so over here uh, I just want to show you real quick they've got a lot of templates which is really neat so um, I like this idea it's kind of uh, like I'm sure you know that Excel and a lot of the uh, Google Sheets are really powerful programs for using spreadsheets for planning or counting whatever but a lot of times it helps to see what other people have done uh, so that you can get uh, an idea of some of the power of these programs. And so that's why I really like that they have the templates. I haven't used one like they have, but just seeing what it has is really nice. So I'm um, just going to like Agile Product Planning. You can open this up and it goes ahead and opens up, um, you know, a good overview of it. Uh, you know, you can scroll through, check it out, and then you click use and actually open it and go into there's a lot more than that. I just want to show real quick that um, they have a lot of them available. Um, they've also got some really neat videos that go through and talk about like the blog editorial calendar, about the ways you can arrange and then and link within. So pretty powerful. They call like when you start this like um, the one area. So you have like your home screen with your little buttons that take you in and each one of those is called a base and then you have tables within that. So for example here would be table inside of a base. So this screen includes all is at one base and I could create another empty table called table two and now I have two tables in here okay um, so for example in here some of the things that I really like this is just seems I know simple right off the bat but you can sort um, so let's see I want to sort by name no I want to sort by group since I've already made a few groups and click apply okay and it goes ahead and groups them which is really kind of nice uh, or sorry that was just a sort uh, if I do a group by I can also do that and go ahead and break them out, um, which I must have, oh, look at me not putting a space in there. So anyways, record moved. All right, cool. So just uh, some really neat features right at the bat. You can natively do attachments. Okay, this is really nice. Um, so let's click here. You can just drop or add, which is really nice. Uh, let's say too, I wanted to link to something. I wanted to call this, for example, um, I wanted to have different things in here like uh, to-do list. Okay, I'm going to have thing one, thing two, thing three. could have some notes, whatever. I can go in here and maybe in my groups I have to-do items that need to be linked, right? So I can go over here and create a link to records and go into another record and say I want to link in there. Okay, now this is pretty cool. So what you can now do is click add and you can go in and link to these. So for example, I could link to several of these depending on however I needed these to be connected, okay? And then when you go in here, let's say, I didn't give these names just to keep this short, but uh, you know, item one, group one. If I wanted to go here and pop that open, it's nice. It gives you a nice summary of your data, okay? So it's much more than just a, a spreadsheet, right? So you can go in here and have a lot of items. So that's kind of where the power comes from, like in this template where we're talking about like blog editorial calendar. It sounds like, you know, I'm just gonna have a spreadsheet with, you know, some info on it, but it actually turns out to be much more than that. So right now I'm using this for my high level planning. Okay, so um, I still use Trello for some of the more actionable items where I have things automated and moving along. Um, for example, uh, contacting people, um, email sequences, things like that are things I have an assistant doing. But then for myself with um, Airtable, I'm getting into it and it's really good for, um, for internal linking to itself and keeping track of dates. And I'll show you why right here. So let's throw some dates in here. Um, gonna go just keep this stuff in November. Just gonna put some random dates in here. Okay, and now you can go with a different view. So you see over here it says grid view, and we can change that to a calendar. All right, choose date fields. Okay, yep, want to use the date field. 
All right, this is nice. So I can go in here. I can have something that I'm using like a spreadsheet, okay, like this. And then if it has due dates, I can transform into basically a calendar and look at it this way. So to me, that's incredibly powerful, and it lets me um, easily manipulate things so I can see it how I need to see it. And then also keep things grouped, though, and organized on the spreadsheet level. So again, I can go in and edit or expand the record and get that same view, which is really nice. Um, let's see what else you can uh, also subscribe to a calendar just um, I think it's I forget what it's called exactly I think it's iCal or whatever the format is but for example if you use Google Calendar you could import like this into your um, your as a calendar in Google Calendar and keep that up to date so a lot of power there uh, something else I want to mention is that you can make a form um, which is nice so you can create a shareable form that populates rows in your table so you could fill out uh, your row headers and let's say you need to collect some data you can just do that click form pop those on there and send it out to people so you can make it private or public and then have that populate a database it's really nice um, not a whole lot more I've seen than something you could do with like Google Forms um, but it was I feel it was faster and I think it looks a little cleaner um, and then of course uh, Zapier so I'm not going to go into it but Zapier uh, you can do a lot of automation with this I've already got it going uh, for example between using a form and populating a database in Airtable and then taking that data and porting it over to a Google Sheet for just to have a backup uh, somewhere else where I can do some more info with the data so anyways I think this is a really powerful one and I, I set aside some time to um, to try out these new tools uh, and it's certainly a matter of uh, using a little bit of time uh, to try these new tools so that you can do things uh, more quickly. So it's walking that fine line between uh, shiny object syndrome and getting something useful out of it. But so far it looks like Airtable is going to be a win. Um, I'll put the link in, in the description here and you can check it out yourself. It's, it's a pretty powerful program. It's got a free trial um, in terms of just they kind of I think they limit the total number of entries you can have, but uh, for a non-enormous uh, database, it's not going to be a problem. So highly suggest you check it out uh, if this stuff looks interesting to you, and if not, I would say also just go and check out their templates uh, and see if this makes sense to you in terms of something you could use. So hopefully this is helpful to you. Uh, if you have any questions about Airtable, just let me know.